Hello guys, welcome to Gwen TV channel. We upload toy speaking test videos every Monday and we provide you with the model responses every Friday. If you're a first time visitor, please hit the subscribe button and I hope you enjoy the show. Begin speaking now. The Scranton Classical Music Society is putting on a charity concert at the Viewmont Mall this Saturday afternoon from 1 to 5 p.m. They have plans to play music composed by Bach, Mozart, and other famous composers. Admission is free, but donations are encouraged. The Scranton Classical Music Society is putting on a charity concert at the Viewmont Mall this Saturday afternoon from 1 to 5 p.m. They have plans to play music composed by Bach, Mozart, and other famous composers. Admission is free, but donations are encouraged. Begin speaking now. Good morning and thank you for flying with Yardley Airlines today. This is a safety announcement. You can follow along using the safety card in front of you. Please note the front, middle and rear emergency exits. Now we will demonstrate our safety equipment. Good morning and thank you for flying with Yardley Airlines today. This is a safety announcement. You can follow along using the safety card in front of you. Please note the front, middle, and rear emergency exits. Now we will demonstrate our safety equipment. Begin speaking now. This is a picture taken at a bicycle store. There are two people in this picture. In the middle of the picture, I can see a woman. She has long hair. She's wearing a red shirt. She's bending forward and holding a bicycle. Next to her, there is a man. He looks like a customer. He has brown hair and he's wearing a green shirt. He is touching the bicycle and looking at the woman. Around them, many items are displayed. I can see many kinds of bicycles. In the background of the picture, some bicycles are displayed along the wall. Maybe the man is buying a bicycle. Imagine that an English newspaper company is conducting a study for an article. The topic of the study is everyday life. What do you usually do in your free time? Begin speaking now. Well, it depends on the situation. Sometimes I meet my friends, sometimes I like to exercise, and sometimes I go on a trip. Do you think it's important to exercise? Begin speaking now. Yes, I think it's very important to exercise. It's very helpful in many ways. I can get rid of my stress and I can become healthier. So I try to exercise often. Do you work out regularly? Why? Begin speaking now. Yes, I try to work out regularly because I'm very interested in health. I want to stay healthy and I want to be fit. So I go to the gym twice a week. I practice yoga three times a week. And on weekends, when I have time, I like to meet my friends and enjoy riding bicycles together. I like to work out because I can get rid of stress and stay healthy. Hi, this is Samantha Brown. I'd like to go to the upcoming Small Business Owner Seminar. I saw a schedule for it. But I have a few questions before signing up. Do you think you can fill me in on some details? When will it begin and where is it supposed to take place? Begin speaking now. It will be held at Amherst Convention Center. It is located at 149 Memorial Drive. It will take place on Friday, March 17th. It will start at 9 a.m., so please keep that in mind. 
I have to take an important call at 1 p.m. Is there anything scheduled at that time? Begin speaking now. No, from 11 a.m. to 1 30 p.m., you will have a break time. So you can take a phone call during that time. You don't have to worry about that. Could you please tell me everything you can about presentations given by Tommy Rice? Begin speaking now. Well, there are two things. At 9 30 a.m., Tommy Rice will give a presentation on benefits of automating inventory systems. At 2 30 p.m., there will be a speech on smart hiring and training practices given by Tommy Rice. Both of them should be very helpful. Hi, my name is Jody Powers, and I'm the manager of Jumbo Gumbo Restaurant. Our business does fairly well, and a lot of customers eat here regularly. In order to increase the amount of seating, we plan to undergo renovation soon. However, we're not the only option people have to eat out. While we are undergoing renovations, there will still be several other good restaurants that people can go to. I'm worried that we might lose some of our regular customers to those competitors. That's why I decided to call you. I've been told that you are highly experienced in customer service. What would you do if you found yourself in this kind of situation? Can you recommend any tips to prevent from losing my customer base? I'm open to any ideas you might have. After listening to this message, please call me back. My number is 648 0237. Thank you. Bye. Begin speaking now. Hello, this is Gwen. I heard that you are the manager at the restaurant. However, there is a problem because the restaurant will undergo renovations. And you're worried that you might lose customers during the time to the nearby restaurants. So you'd like to get some help with this matter. First of all, I'm sorry to hear about the situation. However, I'm happy to say that there is a way to help you out. After looking into the situation, I came up with the following suggestions. First, I think it is a good idea to give a discount to the returning customers when you reopen. That should be nice. Also, why don't you advertise on the internet after the renovations? That should be helpful to attract customers. Those are my suggestions. If you need more help, feel free to call me back anytime. Good luck. Bye. Do you agree or disagree that people should put in a long time in order to make a good decision? Why or why not? Back up your response with specific details. Begin speaking now. I agree that people should put in a long time in order to make a good decision. There are several reasons to support my opinion. Most of all, it is very helpful to make a good decision. For example, two years ago, I wanted to buy a laptop computer. My old computer was too old and slow, so I went to a big electronics store near my house. But there were too many models. And I didn't know what to choose. So I came back home and I visited some online websites. There were many reviews and there was lots of information online. I compared many things such as size, weight, and so on. It took lots of time and effort, but I did my research and after two months I was able to buy a nice computer and I don't regret it. And that is why I think so.